In this video, we're going to do the oil change on the Avali GP0. The tools you're going to need for this are a 17mm socket, an 8mm socket, your handy little wrench, a funnel, a measuring jug, and I've also got a uh, dental mirror in here. I'll just show you what that's for. The Avali GP0s have this little hour meter in here, which is a great addition to the bike. Problem is, it's kind of tricky to see even with all the bodywork off, as we see on this bike. So I use a, a little uh, dental mirror, and uh, I'll show you how to use that. Okay, so uh, yeah, this little dental mirror really helps uh, read the hour meter easier, because it's really hard to, to see with the um, oil cooler in the way. So as you can see, if you look on here, we can get a little dental mirror, and we can see what's on the hour meter. So now we're going to find the drain plug, which is this one here. It's a 17 mil. That's where the oil drains out. So further up on the right hand side of the bike, you have the filler plug, which is here. And the oil filter lives under this little cover in here. First thing I do is I'm going to loosen off the uh, filler cap here. Don't take it all the way out, just loosen it off. So it just lets the air move through. So first step, we're going to undo the drain plug. Using the 17 mil, there it goes. So I'm just going to pop this one out. Make sure you don't lose the sealing washer, which is which is there. Sometimes it sticks to the uh, the engine case, and then when you take the bolt out, of course it falls straight into your drain pan. Here comes the oil. Once the oil is drained out. We put the uh, drain plug back in the drain plug hole and make sure uh, that the sealing washer is there and we'll just nip that back up. The oil filter, as I said earlier, lives under this little panel here and that's where you need your 8mm socket to pull these three bolts out. So when you pull this panel off, this, sorry, this cover off, there's going to be some oil that leaks out. So put your, uh, your little kind of catch can down here and uh, we'll pop these off now. These two are the same length. The one on the top is the long one. Okay, we just give it a little twist, pull it towards you, and the cover will come off. You can see the oil going there. So now underneath here, be careful, there's, there's O-rings. You can see one's trying to escape right there. You got that one, and there's another one around here. The filter goes on in a specific way. Again, give it a little twist. It pops off. You can see that's the outside, that's the inside. There's a uh, rubber seal here. Okay, so we've got our uh, brand new Ovali oil filter here. We'll pop that on. You see, it goes on that way around. Now, we're going to put it back in here, but you notice there's a little oil seal here. Make sure that's in place before you put the filter housing back on. And the other thing we're going to do is we're just going to have a little clean up in here before I finally put it in the uh, the aperture here. Just give that a little bit of a clean off. And then what we have to do, if you notice the, the long piece here goes to the bottom. Slide it in there. And just push it in till it's snug. Okay, so we'll put the bolts back in here. This will help everything to line up properly. And uh, I know for some uh, race series, you'll probably have to uh, uh, wire lock these, but I'll show you how to do that in a separate video. Mini torque wrench here. We're just going to nip these up, make sure they're all evenly tightened. And then uh, we'll have a bit of a cleanup around here. Okay, just for now, I've tightened up the filler uh, cap there, just so that I can uh, clean all this oil off of here with uh, some uh, contact cleaner. I find it's the best way to do it. Now we put the oil in, the new fresh oil. So according to specs, this, this is a 160, so this one has uh, 1100 cc's of oil. I believe the um, 110 is uh, 850, and the 190 I think is about a liter, but I would recommend you check the uh, specs for your bike before you do it. I love these funnels. This is my favorite funnel, perfect for little bikes, because, oh, look at that. It just goes in there and it's so nice and snug. And then uh, we start pouring the oil in. Got the oil in, the new oil in. Yeah, it's, it's uh, 1040, great, four stroke oil. So what you need to do now is just check 
that the level is right. As I say, it's about 1100 cc in this in the 160. What uh, the specs ask for is about five mil down from the top of the dipstick. So there we are. Look at that. That's sweet. So now we're going to replace this one more time. Put it back in there. Nip it up. Just finger tight. Uh, the oil level's right now, but uh, once you run the motor, it's going to fill up the chamber here where the little oil filter lives. So the level will drop a bit. So once the engine's heated up and you've run it long enough to get warm, check the level again. You might have to top it up a little bit. And always make sure the bike is nice and level before you check the oil level. So that's the oil change on the Ovani GP0. Thanks for watching. See you next time.